Good morning, good morning. So today we about to talk about basements real quick. These Detroit basements can make or break your house, dog. I'm so sick of this fucking house. What up, though? What up, though? Sorry, this is going to be real quick. So the house I've been working on, the one that the kitchen I posted yesterday, the basement walls are starting to bow in, which I'm not really surprised because when she bought the house, it was like probably six feet of water sitting in there for who knows how long. So now that water done got in the walls and every time it rained, it leaks in the basement. So I had the basement contract to come by and he uh, gave a quote for fifty-eight fifty, which ain't bad. So basically six grand to fix it since it's a flip. But if it was a homeowner, it'd probably be a lot more. So the way they're going to do it is, uh, which I figured because my daddy told me to. It's, two, well, it's really two things that need to be done, but t the two ways to do it is going to really hit her for about the six grand on top of like another probably 13 to 15. So they need to brace the walls. So, you know, because they're starting to bow so they won't like, you know, fall over nothing because, you know, this house is over 100 plus years old. It's a brick foundation, not block. So all oh, that make a difference. So this is a poor wall with a crack. This is a black wall. So what they're going to do is dig a uh, down in the basement probably like a foot uh in the perimeter of the entire basement and then they're going to add piping and then pipe that all the way down to a sump pump that they're going to put in next to the sewer drain so as soon as the water come in and it start draining from the walls then it uh hit the the pump and then go on out the house so it's gonna cost her hello brother this is your stuff right here so it's gonna cost her 58 50 i'm not even adding no juice on top of it because i'm sick of the damn house so that's that but i like this contractor so they on point they license insured uh i already got a permit on the house so they ain't got to pull one so i just do it under my permit so that saves some money too because that probably be like another two three grand for the permit so this is what they're doing um, then let me see so this is an example of basically what i was saying what they about to do it's kind of sweet because I had them do. I had another house. I don't know if y'all remember Detroit had that big flood over there off Southfield Freeway a couple years ago. A lot of people who houses were over there got some of that water in their basement. So one of my clients had uh, a company come do, and it was pretty sweet. So it's a good preventive maintenance thinking. Uh, she didn't live in. Why more if she lived in it? So if she lived in the house, she would probably want to go and do the bracing of the walls. And all that, but she just, you know, flipping it and being done with it. So the walls will hold up probably another couple more years. But whoever gets it, they definitely going to have to uh, brace the walls, run new beams across the basement to hold up the new support, dig around the outside, and release some of that pressure off the wall that way. But they uh, relieving the pressure off the wall from the inside by getting the water out the uh, drains and then whatever cracks in there they gonna uh, get the water out from there and then fill it with probably water stop cement or just straight up concrete but a little quick basement lesson so when y'all buying these Detroit houses we do have basements the only houses without basements they may be built on a crawl space is probably not in Detroit because I've never been in a Detroit house that didn't have a basement unless it's an older wood house like those be on a crawl space but now those got built in like probably the late 1800s because this house got built in like 1910 or some shit like that and then you could tell the age of a house if it got a brick basement or a a, a block basement so like my property i own on kirchford that got a brick basement but that foundation is like on point and that house got built in like 1905 and the one i own on parker I ain't been in that house in about a year, shit. I think that's a brick basement, too. This is an old wood house. So I got to do new side and do everything. But just a little quick basement one-on-one. -on -one. Deuces, y'all.